Well, guys, here is a, a video that I promised to do a long time ago. Believe it or not, I tried two times to make a video about this and it failed. Okay, in any case, this is something that I promised to do. Like I said a while ago, I got my fixed camber plates made and installed like the end of last year and and the rest of the suspension was taken apart and things were replaced and such I finally have something to show the alignment is done like I said well I guess a couple of things here's the visual representation of this of this negative camber I have my favorite measure and tool this angle which sits flat against the floor the floor is fairly flat in, in my garage and it's a 90 degree so I'm going to touch the bottom of the tire against this angle and that's how much of a gap on the top there is all of that is the, uh, the negative camber that is uh, provided by those camber plates and the uh, M3 lower control arms that I have on my car and here's the measurement well this is what I did in the beginning when I put things together in initially I have about 30 millimeters of a gap in here so I, I was kind of calculating uh, the camber to be at about minus 2.7 degree or so so that was the visual part of this explanation I guess of what happened well now the numbers well I should have probably just posted the, the picture of this and uh, and not even said anything but oh well here's the uh, the printout of the alignment the upper part is uh, is a lot of whack really and that's kind of expected since I took everything apart replaced a bunch of things in the front in the rear uh, most of the suspension was actually reworked on this car and then I basically eyeballed the, uh, the alignment myself and believe it or not that uh, front negative camber was at minus 2.3 on the left and minus 2.7 on the right side which is kind of a lot of a difference really in my opinion but it was about minus 2.7 initially well in any case the car was aligned all four wheels and everything and here's the final results and that's the most important part of this video and here we are so the final results are the front negative minus 2.4 on the left minus 2.6 on the right that's a little bit inconsistent or there is a difference of uh, 2 point, 0.2 of a degree actually between left and right and then there is the airplane the front is right here the rear is right here everything is in green uh, the only red is the camber in the front and like these numbers show I pretty much have everything aligned to the factory specs so I didn't ask for anything special with the toe I kinda didn't think I needed any of that to be adjusted to race specs or whatever people call it I don't really care so minus 2.4 of a degree on the left minus 2.6 of a degree on the right which is 0.2 of a degree difference I don't really like that a whole lot because it could have been really adjusted to at least the right side could have been pushed a little bit in to make this well out actually actually yeah to make that to be minus point at least point one of a degree less to kind of match or I don't know really I I don't think anyone did anything with the tops to it's just basically sits where it was installed by me I don't think that's a major or a critical difference not something that I would notice I guess quite a lot of a negative camber for the front so I better start taking corners or turns faster now to keep these tires wearing out properly I would average this to be minus 2.5 of a degree negative camber that's uh, like I said not quite a minus 3 but 
minus 2.5 is is kind of helpful for this type of a suspension. So well, I guess that's the results. Okay, the other thing I guess I could have mentioned is that the rear camber is minus 1.8, minus 1.9. So it's like 1.8 of a negative in the rear, which is actually a factory spec. That is that is strange. I mean, at least strange to me because that's kind of a lot of a negative camber for the rear. But that's how the uh, BMW engineers envisioned this this suspension that's how they set this car up so although they missed the front a little bit not a big deal it's fixed now we improved the German engineering on this car slightly I guess it is what it is at this point and uh, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing with this car in a uh, sense of like improving the suspension or brakes or whatever I not sure I don't know I have most of it sorted out basically I have pretty much all the things that you can do with these cars as far as the suspension goes well I guess that's something I can talk about like summarize this all in a single video let me know if uh, if anyone is interested in a video like that otherwise I'm pretty much done with uh, this short video today uh, and I hope I will see you in uh, in one of my next videos in the future. Have fun with your course. Come visit me. Well, my channel. And uh, well, have a good day. And here's something else that I'm thinking about doing. Here's uh, my new project. Uh, a rather ugly piece of uh, metal aluminum with a couple of holes and cutouts and if you're curious to learn what it is and what it's going to do come visit my YouTube channel and uh, say something in the comments don't be indifferent make a difference that's all for now